I've heard about a shotgun wedding, but never a handgun reception. Phil waits at the register office, but Shirley arrives, not Sharon. Will the wedding proceed? Later at the reception in the Vic, Jay, Ben, Phil, Shirley and Sharon all take their turns to talk, and there are shock revelations of plenty. An understandably upset Shirley wants to have it out with Sharon and Phil, and suddenly a gunshot is heard around the square. As the smoke clears, the families of the victim and the shooter try to come to terms with the tragedy. Elsewhere, Roxy questions Ronnie about her pregnancy. Later she tells Charlie she's having his baby, and despite Dot's input, wants to parent solo. Lauren decides to end her fling with Dean, who takes it very badly, an outburst that's witnessed by Whitney. Meanwhile, Peter packs his bags, destined for a new life in New Zealand. Cindy finds his goodbye note and gives it to Lauren, who races after him. Can she change his mind? And Abby's devastated when Jay dumps her, saying he wants to stay. His head's been turned by Lola, while Emma shows up and tells Matt she's missed him. Next, we drop into Weatherfield. David's in a fury when he discovers Kylie taking the last of Max's pills, and she breaks down on Eva. David manages to get a new prescription for Max, but locks the pills away. A desperate Kylie decides to head back to her old neighborhood, looking for clues about why Max is like he is. She finds an old mate who leads her to her ex, Callum. Eva, meanwhile, goes to find her, but doesn't like it when she does, seeing her and Callum getting cozy. Maddie confronts Tim when he manages to get out of a game of Scrabble with the family. She can see the signs, he's illiterate. Tim refuses her help, but when he fails to spot an embarrassing mistake in his business flyers, he realizes he's got to do something about it. Anil tells Andrea and Lloyd he's been cautioned by the police and is leaving the UK forever. Is it the last we've seen of him? Finally, it's Emmerdale. Sam panics when the bailiffs come round, while Zack and Lisa are horrified when they take the TV to cover some of his debt. Lisa stresses out trying to help Sam, and when she gets into trouble at work, she's given a warning, then has a funny turn. Lisa sneaks home from work when Belle's on a home visit, but Jay sacks her when he learns, driving Lisa to have a collapse. She signs herself out of hospital early, and Rakesh encourages her to sue Jay. Elsewhere, Jimmy's stunned when a woman, Juliet, turns up pregnant with his baby. She just wants a signature from him and she'll be gone, but Nicola realises he wants contact. And Priya realises she barely knows fiancé Rakesh, so decides they should sleep together. Imagine how she feels when he wants to wait 